Hey guys, how's it going? Just gonna be doing some random gameplay for Starfield today. Hanging out, doing some missions, doing some exploration. You know, bump around with the rover a bit. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> You know, I don't even know where we are, to be honest with you. I think I was doing... Ah, uh, interface like this game. Oh, I was doing bounty missions. Or deputize, so I did that. Uh, no interest in that. But I want to jump into something that's just tons of talking for you guys. Rescue hostage, destroy the captain. Maybe that one. What level is that? 45. What? Really? Why can't I? What? It's not letting me jump? God, this is so annoying to jump between places. Like, it is such a pain. It just, maybe I'm too hot. Oh, I see. I'm too low level. Oh, that's not getting done. And that's not getting done. And that's not getting done. Why would they give me high level missions that I can't even do? Why? I don't get it. Okay. Well, let's just do something else. So I am not doing that. Yes, I have a bounty for one credit. So what happened was I was looting a crate and I didn't know there was a guy around. It was like out on a planet in like minus 200 Celsius and he was hiding behind somewhere and he saw me. So instead of like taking it away, he just immediately shot at me. What? Oh, I want to dock. And uh, killed him because he fired at me. You know, so I shot in self-defense, and then I got charged a bounty for like a um, you know, fines, and then Sarah literally just got up and left like she just like walked away and like was like she's very angry at you i'm like I'm just defending myself it's not my fault all right brace yourself for a conversation at least it's not as long as the uh, emma wilcox stuff is welcome aboard the uc vigilance did you have any questions before i escort you to the commander all right this way please so, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. That must have been one hell of a firefight. I almost regret missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the Vigilance. But we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. Ah, uh, no elevator loading screen? Oh, this guy. I remember now. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Duala's offer. Yes, I know. I was intentionally vague when I advised Mast of my needs. But rest assured, I'll answer all your questions in due time. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. 
Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Mars it is. You better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Why do you need evidence? Like, are we going to arrest the entire fleet? I wouldn't expect any less. Look. Before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now. Come on, dude. Come on. Hurry. Like, oh my god. Falling asleep. Hello. Bad dialogue. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on that... If you've seen one. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia, make contact with Searsha Bowden, and with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. All right, off to Mars, man. Something feels off with the dialogue. I just not interesting at all. Like I just totally zoned out. <laughs> no Sarah for me today. I told her she can come back to the ship, but she like has not returned. I'm like, well, get some on my own. Little old me. Yeah, here we are. I think I was supposed to do my main story here as well, and I think I just east out when I was here, maybe. Yeah, Percival. I okay, let's do that. Then we'll do the the UC. It's Percival about the where's that? Yeah. This is technically UC as well. There's just like two branches of quests to do. Take your time and ask me if you need anything. Sure, Jonah. Invoices can be collected from the. Oh, not here for a delivery, are you? Well, this guy looks like a child molester. Do you know? Well. I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. 
We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his debts, we'd be most grateful. Wonderful. I suggest paying a visit to the Sick Circle, what I suppose is technically a bar on the lowest level of the city. If anyone knows where Percival is, the miscreants there would. But I would urge caution. They're not a group known for their hospitality. They feel slow when they talk too. Like they, it feels like they talk in slow motion almost. Like normal people don't talk like that. Wouldn't they have like anti-grav environments like in a place like this? Probably not, I guess. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? You're barking up the wrong... Andy, you. Why don't you come here and tell me what some stray wants with Walker? Not every day a stray topsider wanders into my bar claiming they know people. What do you want with Dr. Walker? That's so. Mm. Now, if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. All right. Maybe she did send you. Or maybe you just know where to buy your fakes. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. That's good to hear. Most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct. If you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say... A few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. But uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another, Sidonia's full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the authority store. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Behind the bar at the broken spear. Now, Do I, did I really need to know all that? I don't think so. Hey, you may be Hadrian's friend. Come here. I heard you talking with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, good, good. Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. If you give our research over to Octai at the Trade Authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Yeah, it does. It would be. Uh, there's just one issue. We were never able to finish the research. The spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Oh, good. Combat. 
they'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Great, great. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far, shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel and I can walk you through finishing the research. Let's do that. I need to fight. This game has good combat, like really good combat. It's just very far and few between when you actually do engage in combat. You know, where Skyrim or Fallout 4, it felt like every 20, 30, every minute or two between locations, you know. Okay, let's do this. I should have my buggy right there. We get a sandstorm. The driving is kind of threw me off at first. I'm so used to WASD steering. But if you have your mouse, it also drives it. So I actually don't know if you can turn that off or not. Vehicle mouse traditional. Oh, is this it? Whoa. Okay, note to self, do not change the settings. Okay, apparently Todd Howard did not want me to do that. At all. Todd Howard does not like me. I had to restart my game to get my FPS back. <laughs> Jesus. Man, this game. Why are you doing this to me, Todd? Um, when the game first came out, I couldn't break 30 FPS on computer. Like, it's just the computer PC performance is atrocious for whatever reason. I don't know. It's still bad. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. But it, it's good as long as you don't touch any settings when you're in the game. Otherwise, it'll just break. Yeah. It's like, can we, like optimize our games in 2024 that would be great just 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 a simple request you know i mean i like the buggy it should have been here last year but I, yeah where it's funny how I go from like 40 FPS, 30 FPS. No, I got to like 25 there. To like 70, 80 right now. Okay, so I do have Star UI, but Star HUD is actually like broken. That's why my HUD is, looks vanilla. Yeah, because Star UI HUD is just completely busted and they won't update it. So, yeah. I mean, I don't mind it. It's not awful. But it was, I actually kind of missed the honeymoon period when the game first came out, even though the performance is bad, all the mods were working. But we got, we're starting to get a lot of cool mods now too. Sell that. I heard that on Series X. This game is actually very, very, runs very well. So, glad for you guys for that. I'm probably not going to do a full playthrough of this game until next year or the year after. Just waiting for a lot more mods and more patches to come out. We need like a PC specific patch to iron out all the issues, you know. Because most people play this game, play BGS for mods, I believe. I Well, I think they do. I don't know anyone that actually wants to play this vanilla like you're crazy, but... Uh. 
Because it wasn't for mods, like, people just would not play them very long. Just kind of... They don't feel that great in vanilla. Like, I've even tried playing their vanilla games lately. It's not that great. Did you pick? Oh, this isn't happening. It is. No, oh, I guess I should use this for a bit. Get some XP. Okay, doing this next part was such a pain in the ass when I played this the first time. Rainbows. Look at the rainbow effects. Oh, there he is. Don't like lawgivers, but I'll take it. Old sponges. The Grendel. Like the FPS is fine now, but sometimes outside, like if you change the setting or go to your menu, it'll just tank. Yeah, like even pressing escape and going to my tab menu, it just breaks. And that's with even without I even tested tested it without Star UI inventory, and it still would break. So I was like, oh, I'll just turn it on anyway. What you have to do is like reload your game. So pressing escape like four times back to back used to help, but now it uh, does not. So something broke in the Bethesda code in one of the patches. Mmm, food. Where? Oh. Have that. Oh, it's an AI poster. I was like, wait, that is way too sluty for Bethesda. Right, that's a mod. Bethesda is afraid of skin. And they always have the females like completely flat, so it's like, okay. Wait, what's wrong with me? I'm almost dead. Off. Oh, I'm sick. I have to eat. Uh, this snake oil.
<laughs> snake oil. Snake oil salesman. Oh, so... I have four points. Shotgun, lasers, ballistics, so... I probably shouldn't put on point lasers because they suck so bad, but I like using them. Probably says a lot about me right there. Health, wellness. And engineering. I don't know. Uh, security? Pick 15 locks. Oh. That's not going to happen for a while. I don't like fighting in space, like in the ships. I don't know, it's just not really that interesting. You may as well, I got points to spend. I don't think there's a level cap in this game anyway. I've heard people that like level 100 or 200 or whatever. Because I've seen some level 70 systems, so I'm like, well, if you get a perk every level... You know, like you can... Pretty much grab everything, I think. I've never done that. I haven't done that yet, but... You know, a grenade would be great here. I don't know if I have any, though. Oh, shrapnel. That's perfect, actually. Level 22. Here, have that. So this must be like the boss, right? I find too, you get seen in stealth so easily in this game that it's really hard to get snipe shots off. Oh, you guys better stealth than I do. Mr. Bullet Sponge. Take a look. Is that better? I think it is better. Rundle. God, I thought my FPS was going to tank from going to my menu. Almost did. Oh, dude, why'd you put a scope on this thing? So we just got to clean them up. And I don't know why they keep playing that music all the time. It's supposed to be like the theme song, I guess. Uh, did I go the wrong way? There must be a way through here. Or oh, I see. 
The creepy cave. You see, I'm like literally. Oh, I'm also flashing a flashlight, so. Oh, I see. Her friend is right behind her. Let me cheese. Oh, it's a garbage room. Just trash. He died from bleeds. Okay, there's like a guy way over here somewhere? Or something? My marker. I wonder if he's like stuck in the wall. Yeah. Three three zero. Aceless shell, like what? How does a shell not have a case? I don't know guns very well though, so I'm a big noob in that department. Deposit it in the thresher. computer for that I 
don't think so. All set? Good. Uh, you can take the elevator in that room back to the surface. There should be a key stashed in the thresher room if the spacers didn't make off with it. I'll be waiting at the circle. Wait, can I just, uh, yeah. God, if you think about it, we could have had Fallout 5 right now. Ah, uh, this didn't happen. I'll be running around Alaska. Used to think I was Vanguard material. You've got slate? Let me see. Reduce joint wear, oh, increase lifting capacity. A dose of this stuff can make a binder way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever wanna try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. All right, let's turn this into the guy. The United right, the uh, pedophile, yeah. Was there something else? Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well, I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spacers. Or so I've heard. Well now. That is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool. And the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work. Bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine. Reopened. Thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? Dr. Walker's dead. That's it. Consider it wiped. Well, it seems we have a deal then. And here. A finder's fee from the Authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Wouldn't want you feeling short-changed down the road. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. Well then. It's not easy to leave. Just like that. I heard they found another new freshwater deposit in one of the mines. So if you take the sneaky option and just break in to clear his debt, you don't... Uh, get to go to that place, I guess. Yeah. Did you now? Fine work. My end of the bargain, then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Was also going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Here, the Parsky. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. 
Oh, so he's just in that same mine we were at. Well, I think that's it for today. I'm going to take off. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope we have some more. And like I said, I probably won't do parted series for a while until some really cool mods actually do come out. So, kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. There's been like weapon mods, texture mods, but not a lot of big ones. You probably won't see like full scale body replacers till I would say November, December. And then all the cool mods, probably in about two years. But it takes time. It takes time. It's a lot of work, but uh, yeah, see you guys later.